and South Wales too. Through the course of the morning, some heavy showers rumbling in here. Quite a cold start to the morning too across parts of Scotland and in the east we could even have a few icy stretches first thing. There's going to be a bit of a wind through this morning, blowing in from a westerly direction. That'll help to push in these heavy showers. So showers across many southern areas and the bulk of the heavier rain sweeps into the southwest of England and Wales through the course of the late morning into the afternoon. Many northern and eastern areas, in fact, not having a bad day, keeping the best of the brightness here. But if you're planning on heading out in the southwest, there will be further heavy showers falling on saturated ground, so even the risk of some coastal landslides, for instance, and some localised flooding. And heavy rain too, reaching the southeast of England through the afternoon. So combine that with the gusty winds, not a particularly pleasant afternoon for heading out for a stroll, for instance. The rain continues through the Midlands into the northwest, but anywhere east of the Pennines, probably getting away with a half-decent day with some brightness around. And a sunny day too across many northern and eastern parts of Scotland. Just some patchy cloud here. On the cool side, certainly four or five degrees at best. Northern Ireland, after a dry morning, we'll see the cloud thickening and that rain heading in during the second half of the afternoon. And for Wales, equally, it's turning pretty showery and wet here too. So some heavy downpours likely. If you're heading to any of the Premier League football matches, well, I think for Sunderland, we'll keep the cloud, but it should remain dry in both Manchester and Fulham by the afternoon, though. The rain really gets in and the winds pick up too. So it is going to be one for wrapping up fairly warm and bringing a waterproof, certainly. Through the course of this evening, we will see the main batch of rain heading its way further northwards across much of northern England into southern Scotland as well. Perhaps a little bit of snow to come on the highest hills, but mainly it'll be falling as rain. And that'll be followed by further heavy showers through Thursday, piling in from the southwest once again. Again, a bit of a blustery sort of a day. Some sunshine in between the showers, so it won't be a complete washout and relatively mild. Temperatures just getting into double figures. But look what's happening as we head towards the end of the week. This low pressure system heads in. Look at all those tight isobars on the map. That means some really windy conditions, particularly as we head through into Friday and further heavy rain as well. So the outlook as we head towards the end of the week is a fairly wet one, breezy and blustery. And keeping it up to date with the latest warnings online. Bye bye.